So welcome back to episode 12 now of the Dallas Mavericks My League series here on NBA 2K18. And in today's video, we are going to be doing the trade deadline and then simulating the rest of this season. Um, we are currently 41 and 13, which is actually very, very not where I thought we would be. So I pretty much asked you guys at the end of the last video is should we go all out for this season, try to win a championship, and basically make this the last year and the last episode or last season of this My League, and then we will start a new one. And most of you said yes. Uh, and the main idea was pretty much just try to pick up a better backup shooting guard, which I definitely think we should do in today's video. Uh, taking a look at this lineup, I think starters-wise, we are more than all set. Um, a lot of people said try to make Draymond a small forward and then change Harrison Barnes or trade Harrison Barnes for a better power forward. I definitely could do that. Um, if you look right now, Barnes is averaging like 12 points, which isn't awesome. But it also doesn't feel totally realistic to just trade him. But I wouldn't be against looking for a trade for him. But first, we do. I do want to address the backup uh, shooting guard position. I know Raul Atkins. I always say Atkins. Atkins um, is currently playing right there. But I feel like I kind of want an improvement if I am going to be going all out for this final year. And I, who is the number one target? A lot of people were saying go after Malik Beasley. That's who it was. So I think that's what I'm going to do right now. Uh, I forget what team he's on, so I'm just going to look him up. Uh, Beasley. And then I think he'd be an improvement at the backup um, shooting guard. He's on the Nuggets right now. So, the trade was pretty much, a lot of you guys are saying try to trade Alkins for him. I don't know if that's totally realistic, but if it comes down to it, I might, because I don't really want to trade him for Donovan Daly. I mean, unless they, like, really need a backup center. I mean, they don't need a backup center, really, but I think it'd be more realistic if we gave him Alkins and then, like, maybe our first round pick this year. Of course, this can't even work out money-wise. $45,000 more 2K. You're going to geek about this much money. I literally might update his contract to make it, like, $45,000 thousand dollars more because this is just so stupid like fine you can have not nick richards you can have like gerald green oh my god and then give me your worst player give me richard scott okay fine if it has to be like this it has to be like this i mean i know it's not totally realistic throwing other bench pieces in well, i mean gerald green doesn't even play for us but i have to make it work i'm not going to update his contract forty five thousand dollars more even though it literally wouldn't be a big deal at all so in this trade, we're also going to include our first round pick this year, which does have one star. Uh, since we're so good right now, even if we do have to go on to the next season, if we don't win, this pick's not going to mean much to me, and I don't really want any more young developing guys. So this is going to be the trade if it does go through. Raul Alkins, Gerald Green, and our first round pick from Malik Beasley and Richard Scott. Uh, who is this, anyways? It's a 66 overall. I never would play. So I'll also throw in my second round pick this year if I have to. Malik Beasley has no trade clause. Are you kidding me, bro? That's killer. That is absolutely killer. Okay, so we're not trading for Malik Beasley. That's not happening at the moment. So let's just go back to the teams because I kind of forget what team um, is kind of bad and kind of needs a or would be willing to trade a shooting guard right now. Okay, so you don't even have one. Um, TLC and Pat Connaughton. I mean, Pat Connaughton's not a huge upgrade, but TLC would be a pretty big upgrade, I think. Um, he's playing right now, but. And they have Ron Baker. Okay, this team could definitely spare shooting guards. So if we were going after TLC, what's his contract looking like? It's $4 million this year and $5 million next year, which might be a little annoying to try to pay for. But I'd definitely do it. Okay, let's head over to the Raptors. Uh, Raptors, TLC, who has two stars. We'll throw in Alkins. How much do we have for off? But we're acquiring a million extra. And then I could give you... I give you Fred Van Vliet. Okay, this trade actually might work. Uh, and then I'm actually going to probably throw in my second round pick this year too because I'm not going to throw in a first if we're giving them two players. So, Raleigh Alkins, Fred Van Vliet, and a second round pick for... They're getting a nice young player in uh, Alkins still who's still only 24 years old and has a nice team option next year. We're going to pick up TLC uh, who is a 77 overall, so he is a few overalls higher uh, than Alkins. He's also averaging right now at the moment 10 points, which isn't too bad. I'll definitely take that over four points. So if this trade could go through, that'd be awesome. I know giving up Van Vliet's not really totally realistic, but he hasn't played a minute this year. So, uh, and could this team even use a backup point guard? Not really, but whatever. Who is this? 12th overall pick. They don't even play this guy. Okay, whatever. But we're going to do this right now. They agree to that. We pick up TLC. Welcome to the team. Um, so he is probably just going to play 12 minutes just like um, Alkins was, which I'm kind of fine with. I'm actually probably going to give him like 13 yeah, 13 minutes is fine. So he's going to be decent for us, I hope. He's definitely going to be better than Alkins, which I'm fine with. I know a lot of you guys wanted me to get Beasley, but I'm not going to take off his no-trade clause. It's a little bit unrealistic. So let's shop for Barnes. Let's shop Harrison Barnes right now. Um, it's not totally realistic, but I'm not trying to make this totally realistic. I'm mostly just trying to make it. It has to make sense for both teams. That's not happening. That's not happening. Okay. 
Can I get offered maybe some sort of powerful? Oh my god, I would kill if I could just do this. Auto Porter, okay. Are you kidding me? I can trade for Paul George. Oh my god. What? What? Okay, if you think I'm cheating and like my sliders are on something else, like my trade sliders are on something else, everything's on 50. Like, oh my god. Are my trade sliders on 50? Yeah. Oh my god, bro. That's unbelievable. And I would totally do that too. All right. Well, I'm actually kind of looking for a power forward then or like a big man. So I guess I'm going to have to figure out a trade and I'll see you guys once I figure out that trade. So I kind of just looked through every team and I only found one trade that would make sense. And I'm not sure if I want to do it. Um, if I don't do it, you guys might be fine with it. You might be a tad bit mad. Uh, it's another trade with the Nuggets, actually. So if we take a look at this team, they're starting Emmanuel Acott at small forward. So Harrison Barnes would start there. And they have Trey Lyles coming off the bench. But the only thing with this is he's making money for the next year, too. And if we win a champ if we don't win a championship this year, I don't know if I want to keep Trey Lyles. And also he's only putting up like let's see, ten points, like six rebounds, but it also is off the bench. And Terrence Jones isn't even amazing. So this is the most realistic thing. They also have Juan Hernan Gomez as a backup. Like that would be the most realistic thing. But I just don't think it's worth it. Like I know the fact that I could trade Harrison Barnes with Paul George is ridiculous, but I still think I should leave Harrison Barnes. I still think he's going to be better than Trey Lyles. I mean, 12 points. We could also readdress in the offseason if we don't win a championship. So I think I am going to leave this the way it is, which I know might not be what you want to hear, but I think it, it has to happen. I, I, I just can't trade Harrison Barnes for Trey Lyles. I can't, especially when Trey Lyles is just making so much money. It just, it just really wouldn't feel right. It's just crazy that we could also trade for Paul George. Like, that's not. It was literally Harrison Barnes and, like, Gerald Green for Paul George, which is nuts. Um, 14 players. Uh, okay, do I have to sign somebody? I think I do. Um, is there any like really young players here that are decent? Art Griffin. Okay, he's okay. Can I have like a seventy overall? Sure, we'll sign Frank. Okay, no, we won't. Uh, where's that Art Griffin guy? I'm just gonna sign him. Hopefully, he doesn't ask for more than the minimum. Cool. Minimum. Just rotation manually. Um, cool. So we're just gonna bring him in right now. I just. I can't believe that the simulation would actually let me trade Paul George for Harrison Barnes. Like, that's pretty, it was pretty much straight up, too, which is just crazy. Uh, actually, yeah, I would. Do I have any contract extensions I want to do? Dennis Smith Jr., I'm going to get that out of the way. Just wanted to get that out of the way. I'm, I'm bringing it back in the offseason. It's not like we we're going to have cap space in the offseason anyway, so it's fine. I'm also going to hop into that Rockets game once we play it. Hopefully, it can be at least a little bit close. We just beat them right here. But just so you guys can get some gameplay. But I don't know what 2K's trade finder is. I can never trade for Paul George. Like, ever and i throw harrison barnes of, up on the trade block and of course it's a realistic rebuild where i have it has to be where I'm, of course it's not realistic at all um even though the thunder are like borderline playoff contenders but they would never trade paul george for harrison barnes it just makes no sense and why are we so good like we're actually really really good like this might be the championship year we're probably gonna do all of the playoffs in the next video uh, it's probably gonna be a long video because we're probably gonna hop in like every single game where we're gonna have to clutch them out but we've already clinched the number one seed but I just don't know how we're this good. Like, you saw my simulator difficulty. I'll show you it's still on 50 so you know I'm not cheating. Um, I'll actually sim it. I'll go before this Lakers game just so I'll show you guys just so you know I'm not cheating. Hate to be accused of that. Um, so we lose against Lakers. It's fine. Just going to show you I didn't simulate one bit of this season with it on anything but 50. Everything is what it has been on this whole series. And now we're going to simulate this simcast no matter what, even if it's, like, not close we're, we're still going to hop in. Um, okay. I'd like to maybe win or maybe have to, like, clutch something out. Three minutes to go. We're up nine. Let's hop into the game, get some gameplay with this team, and I'll see you guys in the game. All right, so we're here in the game right now. Um, I know I probably should have done this quicker, but I just want to make sure I have the right lineup in. Uh, I kind of want RJ Barrett in. Cool. Fine with that. It'll take effect the next dead ball. Um, so we do have, um, let's see, Darren Smith Jr. is not having a great game. It's not horrible. Um, okay. I don't feel the need to say if, if this is your first video you've watched that I'm horrible in game because, oh my, that was actually a nice play. Didn't think I had that in me. Dennis Smith Jr. up to Draymond, who, who yeah, it's just kind of tough. Nick Rich, oh, it's Mo Bamba. Mo Bamba has 18 and 13. What an animal. I thought that was Nick Rich's the first. Mo Bamba absolutely will take it. That might have been the slowest dunk animation I've ever seen in my life, but he's having a monster game. Dennis Smith Jr., I'd like a few more points, but this also is a very low scoring game, so 
I can live with it. Dennis Smith Jr. is up to a 90 overall, I think. Trayvon Duvall is not playing very well either, but... Um, what the shit? That's a foul, and it's an animal, and that's just annoying. But you know what? At least we're going to get R.J. Barrett, and going to get to use him a little bit more. Um, I'm not sure. Is R.J. Barrett, like... Okay, so I want to see his offensive stats. He only has 12 points, which is in great. He hits the free throw. Uh, can he shoot threes? I don't think he's, like, that good. His three points... Okay, so his three points, a C. Uh, he's on Harden, so I'm just going to call an ice. That's a smart play. Okay, I hit the wrong button. What? Oh, I don't know what this is. Okay, Harrison Barnes. I don't know what I just did. Okay, um, they have. Is that Otto Porter? What the hell? Uh, okay. It really, I mean, it kind of makes sense. Nobody's having like a great statistical game because it scores eighty-seven to seventy-nine. And this is still kind of a game, so I still kind of. Oh shit! Don't jump. Wow. I didn't think I had that in me. Chris Paul, Dennis Smith Jr., 1v1. That's what you come up with. That's what... Going back out, I know Chris Paul's a very good defensive guard. I want an ISO. I think I can do it. Quick update. I couldn't do it. Okay, so that didn't go well. Can I get a pick? Bomba. Oh, Bomba. A little bit tough to watch. How do they have Gallinari, too? What the hell? They might have made a lot of trade deadline acquisition. My defense is off. It's off the shits right now. It's unbelievable. Draymond has two fucking points. What in the world just happened? Okay, Harrison Barnes has 13. I'll actually take that from him. Okay. Nope. Not what. Nope. Shit. Nope. No. Shit. Whatever. Foul. Okay. We're good. He kind of just got his shit beat in, but let's get Dennis Smith Jr. scoring up a little bit. I'm move my mic, and that's the slowest release ever, but it's 100%. So I am good. And free throw. That one was horrible, apparently. I thought it was the same thing, but I guess it's not. Dennis Smith Jr. now is 13, 3, and 7, which isn't great, but it, I can live with it. Is, how do they have Otto Porter? Bama gets his 14 3 bound on that. Going to push it to RJ Barrett. You know what? I want to run in isolation for RJ Barrett. James Harden can't play defense. RJ Barrett should cook him. You know, these ISO things really worked out much better for me in the last video. That's a foul. That's a... Fuck. <sighs> Come on. Clamp up. Clamp up. Well, this is such a tough assignment for RJ... Oh, I didn't realize how much time's left. Okay. Dennis Smith Jr. Push it. This game's pretty much over. Uh, I kind of want to be a dick. Unbelievable. RJ Barrett. I can't even hit a fucking layup with Dennis Smith Jr., but I hit a three. Contested in James Harden's face. Perfect release. No way that goes in. We win the last game of the regular season. We end up beating the Rockets. I believe that's twice in this video we've now beat them. We ended up clinching the one seed a while ago, but we are the one seed nonetheless. So, next video, we are going to be hopping into the playoffs. I'll actually show you guys. Actually, I'll do the end of season stats in the next video. So, I'm going to close that out here. Um, pretty much, oh, it's actually going to probably sim to the end of the season. So you guys will probably see the finals or the regular season MVP, but, um, I'll show you guys that right now. And I, I guess I'll see you guys at the loading screen. Okay. So we are back to the awards. Uh, Giannis ends up winning MVP, uh, pretty good year from him. 24 points, nine and a half rebounds, six assists. He's up to a 99 overall. Okay. Uh, James Wiseman rookie of the year for the Memphis. Uh, he's from Memphis. He's on the suns. You idiot. Okay, uh, Billy Hernan Gomez, six minute of the year. Giannis also wins the defensive player of the year. Justin Patton, most improved on the Spurs. Yeah, those are not really most improved numbers. And Mike Stauffer, our coach, wins coach of the year. We go 62 and 20, first in the Western Conference. Very, very pleased with this season. Uh, all NBA teams, I would hope we have at least, like, maybe Dennis Smith Jr. Lonzo makes it, though. Okay, he averaged a double double. That's fair. Mavericks, not quite. Defensive teams, Mavericks, not quite. Um, and we pretty much had no rookies. This guy's a 67 overall. He hasn't even played, and he makes all rookie first team. Whew. Okay, 2K. Uh, that doesn't make much sense. So we have nobody on an all-anything anything team, uh, which is a little bit disrespectful because we're we're so good. But uh, we're taking on the Utah Jazz in the first round. I'll show you the matchup with their team. Uh, actually, I'll show you that first. Actually, we can just check it over here standings-wise. Uh, we're eight games up in the Warriors for second in the Eastern Conference. They have Trey Young, Donovan Mitchell, Dylan Brooks, Tobias Harris, Jaron Jackson. This is... This team's not amazing, but they're very, very deep. So this definitely could feel like a round one upset. I'll play this out near Dennis Smith Jr. less than scoring. We just don't score the ball a lot. 
like team stats like we were horrible we were the third lowest scoring team in the league and we were the best def defensive we also had the best differential because our defense was so good but we need to get some more scores in this team so that is going to be it for this video first round matchup going to be against the utah jazz probably going to simulate the rest of the playoffs so that next video very well could be the last video of this series so hopefully you guys did enjoy episode this is 12 yeah 12 of the dallas mavericks my league series again hopefully you guys are fine with the trade i apologize i could not find a trade for harrison barnes that was realistic i want to keep this series as realistic as possible and i know if i just pulled off a blockbuster trade and traded harrison barnes for paul george a uh, few people might got upset so again hopefully you guys enjoyed again i just said again twice if you guys are looking forward to the next video leave a like down below if you guys need to make sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys all in the next video